Hi, it's Cassie. Welcome to my channel. I am so excited today to share with you this cute little Valentine project. These cute little Starbucks coffee cups. Um, this one you can just have on a tiered tray and then this one has a little loop so that you can attach it to a gift bag or use it as a Valentine ornament or um, just attach it to anything, hang it anywhere that you would like to hang it. So let's get crafty. I'm so excited to show you how to make these cute little Valentine Starbucks cups. I will link everything in the description below so that you know everything that you need and um, where you can get it from. So the first thing we're going to use here is this little cup that I got at Dollar Tree and it comes in a pack of, I don't even know how many, but there are quite a lot of them in there. And then we're going to trace the cup onto this piece of poster board. Now, if you don't have poster board handy, you can use a food box, like a cereal box or something. That's about the same thickness. So we're just gonna trace this on here. And then cut it out. Once you have it cut out, just make sure that it fits onto the top here. And I have a little bit of overhang. I think I'm gonna trim just a touch more off of there. Uh, I don't necessarily want it hanging off of the edge. I just want, want it to go right at the edge. Because I don't wanna see this necessarily once I put the whipped cream on so okay that looks pretty good okay so the next thing we're going to do is grab the piece of tissue paper and um, if you don't have tissue paper you could use packing paper like if you have some from like an Amazon box or something like that, that you just have laying around. Um, so we're gonna punch this up. Sorry, it's gonna be noisy here for a second. And push it down in there. We want it to fit in pretty tightly. And so I'm gonna just cut off this extra part here. So you want it to come right up to the top of the cup and fit firmly in there. So now that we have the tissue paper the right size, I'm gonna take it out and just squeeze a little hot glue right in the bottom because I want that to stay in there firmly. Please don't judge my glue gun it is a total disaster if anyone knows how to clean a glue gun please leave me some tips in the description i would love to be able to clean these things they look disgusting okay so now i have the tissue paper in there and we have the little top here so i'm going to take my glue gun and i'm going to Go right around the edge of the cup here, making sure to get all around the whole edge. And then I'm also going to put a bunch right in the tissue paper. And then just press your 
cardboard right on top. I have some extra here. Don't touch this when it's too hot, but mine's cooled down a bit, so I'm able to get that extra off of there. Okay. So now we're gonna put some spackle on this um, to make it look like whipped cream. So I already have some mixed up. We're gonna actually do a pink one on the next one. So I'll show you how to mix up the spackle for that one. This one, I already have the white mixed and in, in my bag. So I, I'll just show you with this one. So you need a piping bag and a piping tip. This one I'm using right here is the open star. Okay, so I start around the edge. Now I am not super good at this, so bear with me, but I just start at the edge and I go around. and then around and work my way to the center and then just come up there. So I feel like it's not full enough right here, so I'm just gonna add some more to that part. And then you can kind of like press it in with your finger a little bit if there are spots that you don't like how they look. It's pretty easy to uh, make it look a little better that way. Okay, so I'm okay with that. Not my best one, but not my worst one either. Okay, so now that we have this on here, um, I'm going to go ahead and put the stickers on, which would have been easier to do before I put the whipped cream on. So keep that in mind. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and oops, I'll go ahead and cut out these. Uh, this is a, a printable that I made that you can print off and use. It says Valentine coffee instead of Starbucks. Um, and you can print this onto sticker paper, which I will link for you. Or if you have uh, shipping labels, you can use that. Or if you have just regular paper, you can do that and just glue it on instead of having, you know, the sticky back to it. And it prints six per page. So if you wanted to make these as like little gifts or attach them to a gift bag or something like that, then you could go ahead and use those. And I did add the hearts on there. For those of you that don't have um, like any heart stickers or if you don't have a Cricut that you can um, cut out the parts, you could use these printable ones and just cut around those. It's going to be pretty time consuming, but I wanted to offer that option to you um, in case you don't have a Cricut or something. So this is not my best cutting I've ever done here, but we're just going to go with it. So I'm going to take the backing off of this because I printed this onto sticker paper. And then I'm just going to put my little Starbucks logo on and make sure that it's straight before I press it down. Okay. And then these are the little um, heart stickers that I made with my Cricut. So I'm just going to a few of those on 
randomly. Oops, sorry, I'm out of the frame here. If you have tweezers handy or something, that might be easier than how I'm doing this here. You can put as many of these as you want on there. I'm just going to go with the four for this one. Okay, so now we're going to decorate this up. So the first thing I have, this is a 3D fabric paint that I'm going to use as like a strawberry drizzle on the top. Now, I got this one at Hobby Lobby and I think they sell it pretty much at all the craft stores and I'll try to link this up um, but you could uh, use any kind of 3d fabric paint or like puffy paint to drizzle I mean you could even just use regular paint if you wanted but it's not going to be um, as dimensional okay so now we're just gonna drizzle this on in whatever pattern you like. And I am going to use a pink straw in this one. So I have these straws I picked up at Hobby Lobby for 99 cents. And I'm just gonna take one of them and just cut off a little piece of it. It's not gonna take much at all for this. So I'm just gonna cut it off up here. And then this is the ugly side. So I'm gonna put that side in. So I'm just gonna position it how I want it there. And then I have some little hearts that I'm going to add on to here. And I should have grabbed my tweezers because these are going to be interesting to put on, but that's okay. So these are just, I, I used to do nails um, for about 18 years and I loved doing nail art. So these are just some little uh, things that I used to put in nails. So I'm going to just Put a few of these on here as like little sprinkle decorations and i'll try to find something similar um, and link to that in the description for you i don't know if i'll be successful or not finding something like this but i'll do my best Okay, so we have those, and then I have some pink ones too, so I'm going to put a few of the pink ones on. These pink ones, I always have a hard time telling if the word is the right direction. They're more pastel and harder to see the letters. And you can put these on the back side too. I am not going to on this one because I'm going to put this on my tear tray and it's the back's not going to show. So I'm just going to put those on like that. I'm going to put one more right here in the front. Oops. There we go. And there's your cute little Starbucks cup. So the next one we're gonna do, I'm actually gonna add a string to it so that you could attach it to a package or something like that. And I'll show you how to mix up the spackle too. So um, 
so that you know how to do that. So we're gonna start with the same thing, our little cup, but this time I'm gonna be smarter and decorate the cup before we do anything else. So this one I'm gonna make for people who are not necessarily Starbucks drinkers. Um, just put some little hearts on the cup just to make it look festive for Valentine's Day. Because not everybody likes Starbucks. Are you a Starbucks drinker? I like Starbucks, but I like just about any coffee. So actually, I think I like the creamer better than the coffee, personally. So I think that looks cute. I'm going to go with that. And so we're going to do the same thing. We're going to trace the top of the cup onto the poster board. tell me in the comments if you like do you like this style of craft videos where you can just see the person's hand hands doing the work up close or do you prefer craft videos where you can see the actual person because this is my first tutorial craft tutorial video and I just wonder what people like. Like, I enjoy seeing the person making the craft, but I know sometimes then it's harder to see what they're actually doing. And so I just wonder, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments, please. Okay, so we've got our circle cut out here. And I'm going to cut a tiny bit more off just to make sure it's not showing when I put the whipped cream on. I do still want it touching that lip of the cup though, so don't cut it too small. Okay, that's perfect. And then here's my tissue paper. And this one's a little small, but I didn't bring another piece. So I'm just going to go with this one. I think it'll be okay. Okay, so I'm just going to squeeze some hot glue right into the bottom of the cup there. And then put my tissue paper back down in there. I want it to kind of be up where the cardboard can touch it. Then I'm going to go around the edge. Oh, I forgot to put some in the center on the tissue paper. Well, hopefully it holds. I'm sure it'll be fine. It's, it feels nice and secure. Okay, so here's where we're going to do something a little bit different. For this one, I want to make it so that you could like hang it off of a, a gift bag or hang it somewhere. So I'm going to cut a little piece of this thin ribbon. This I got it, I think Walmart and they also sell it at Michael's. It's really small. Let's see, eighth inch. So, but if you don't have this, you could use like jute twine or something like that. 
So I'm going to compare this to my other one so I make sure to leave enough loop there. I think I'll make it a little bit bigger. And the tip I'm going to use for this one is actually a mini um, piping tip. So this will make it uh, probably the um, topping is going to be a little bit smaller. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is just take this ribbon and I'm going to glue it right to this center of the cardboard here, hopefully without burning myself. And then I'm going to put some over the top too, just to make sure that's all nice and secure because you don't want it to come loose on somebody when they're, um, if they try to hang it or something. And see that came loose there, so press it down, press it down. Okay. So we're gonna let that hot glue finish drying while. I mix up the spackle. So I use these little containers. I got it at Dollar Tree. I think they came in a pack of three. So I like to mix my spackle in there. And then I actually just store the rest of it in there when I'm finished so that it doesn't dry out. And it seems to work really well for me. So that's just a little tip you can use. So this stuff, depending on which one you get, sometimes it dries like a little bit gray looking. So if you're going to make it, uh, just use it white, I would add a little bit of white paint to it. We're going to add pink paint to this one because I want to make a different color for this, this cup. So. So the color I'm going to add to this one is Apple Barrel Pink Parfait. This is a big bottle because I use it for my uh, something I make in my Etsy shop. So I use a lot of it. But if you, you know, you can get the small bottles that are like 54 cents or whatever. So just add a little bit and then mix it and see if you like the consistent, like the color that it comes out. I'm just using a little spatula that I got in a set of paintbrushes. Okay, well, I envisioned this being a little bit lighter pink than this, but I guess I added too much paint, so. But I think it'll be cute. Just make sure that you mix it really, really well so that you don't have any like streaky spots so that it looks nice and uniform. And make sure if your bowl has like an edge, down, uh, like a little dip in the bottom that you get all that too. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. This is the piping bag that I have, and it's actually a reusable one. And then I got this little set. It came with the bag, and then it has all these little mini size tips. Sorry, I just cleaned this out because it's reusable. I just cleaned it out. I had some white in there, so it's still got some water in it. So we're gonna take um, this bag and it already has a hole in it so it fits the tips so you can just put the tip right into there and push it down really good. If you're using a disposable bag, you'll have to um, snip off 
the tip and, and put your um, piping tip inside. So then you just get a glass and put this bag right into it and open it up really good. And then make sure you can see here. We're just going to um, put the fake whipped cream right into here. I'm so excited to see how this pink one turns out. I haven't made a pink one before. I've only made the, the white ones. I made these uh, for my mom and my sister for their tiered trays, and I gave them to them for Christmas, and I just thought they were so cute. I wanted to share them on my channel here. Okay, so get this glass out of the way. So now all of my fake frosting is up here. So I just want to like push it down to where the tip is. Let's see. So I'm just going to push it to where it's just starting to come out. And because I had a different color in here, I'm going to just get that extra little part at the top off because I don't want that weird streaky look in there. Okay, so now let's get the cup back over here. And it's going to be a little more challenging because we need to hold this up while we're while we're piping. So let's hope for the best. So I'm going to do the same thing that I did with the white one and just go around the edge. And then again, I don't like, you know, it's not full enough around here, so I'm going to fill in some of this extra space. Hopefully yours turns out better than this. This one's not looking so hot, but it's hard to do on camera and holding that thing up, so. I'm just um, pushing my spackle down in this um, piping bag here to get it to the end. Okay, and then I'm gonna Press in the spots that I don't like how they look. Just make it look a little nicer and neater. Press that a little too much. And I'm not liking how this right here looks, so I'm gonna add a little more here. There we go. So see, you can actually just, I don't want to let go of the cup completely because it's, somehow mine didn't end up completely in the center. So you'll need to make sure yours is centered a little better so it hangs better than that, but you get the idea. It'll look really cute if you put it on like a gift bag or something like that as a a little extra decoration, super cute. Okay, so now we're going to do the drizzle. I'm gonna use the same pink one that I used on the other one. But if you have like red, you could do that. That would be 
cube. Okay, on this one, I have some other little confettis that I used to use when I did nails. And this is like really tiny. I'm not gonna try to place these one at a time. I'm just gonna do a sprinkle right on there and let it fall where it falls. And it's gonna make a mess everywhere. And then to this one, I also wanna add a little glitter. So I have some glitter in a tiny little salt shaker, like these little mini salt shakers. And I'm just gonna sprinkle a little glitter on here. Cause I love glitter. I know some people can't stand glitter, but I am obsessed with glitter. Okay, so that's that. And then um, I think I'm gonna do a different straw in this one. So I'm gonna do, I got these at Hobby Lobby too, but they were in the Christmas section. So if it's not Christmas, which is probably not if you're watching a Valentine video, then you might not be able to find these ones, but they always have like different colors and patterns and things like that. And I'll see if I can find something similar to this on Amazon and link it up for you. So just cut a little piece off there. And then there's the ugly end that we just cut. So we use that and put that end right into the... Oh, that's so cute. And you could also put... Um, you know, like a bigger uh, heart or something on the top as like a big decoration, but um, this is just what I had on hand. So I wanted to use what I had. So then when these are all finished, you'll want to let them dry like probably overnight, maybe even more than one night, depending what the temperature is. Um, I know here it's cold and it takes quite a while for this stuff to dry. So um, I usually let them dry for a couple of days. If you're just gonna set it on your tiered tray or something, then it'll be fine. Like just go ahead and put it on there. But if you are giving it as a gift, I would give it at least a couple of days to dry completely so that it doesn't fall apart on the person. So, there they are, our cute little, our cute little cups. I'm so excited that I was able to share this with you. And, um, you know, see, my whipped cream is not perfect. But then once you start putting the toppings on, it kind of takes away from that. Like the pink one I thought was going to be a complete mess. But it actually looks pretty cute. So don't worry if you're not good at piping the cream on look at how cute these are on my tiered tray i'm so excited if you loved this tutorial and you love holiday tutorials please subscribe because i have tons of valentine's saint patrick's and all the other holidays coming up this year tons of tutorials for those and i'd love to share them with you so please subscribe